under total Soviet control. Miller's been captive for 10 days. Not much time left. The weather will clear shortly. Storm passing. Infiltration of the Soviet main ground forces should be the perfect warm up. Normally, there would be a tutorial here, but we'll go ahead and skip that for today. You can't have much left in him. I give him three days, tops. If we fail, and he dies, we lose our chance of revenge. But we need more intel. If you just go charging into Doandehar, you'll be putting both your lives at risk. See what you can find out first. The Soviets have other outposts, not just the one you saw. Afghanistan is a big place. I expect you'll become quite familiar with those binoculars as you plan your next move. How and where you make it, well, that's up to you. From here on out, you're on your own. You're a legend in the eyes of those who live on the battlefield. That's why you have to handle this mission yourself. Put those nine years behind you and return this big boss. That's how Koss would want. I'll be sending additional intel by radio. Stay sharp. Not one of Miller's bodyguards survived. But they were good. All we found on the scene were their corpses and knees. You'll be missing them. And you're his only hope of getting them back. Now go! Let the legend come back to life. Alright, now we've transitioned seamlessly from cutscene into gameplay, and everything you're seeing today is running at 1080p, 60 frames per second on a PlayStation 4. As you heard during the cutscene, our mission here is to rescue Miller, but we're going to show you a shortened version of that mission today, prepared just for E3, to show you as much as we can in the amount of time that we have. So uh, to start with, let's go ahead and open, open up our iDroid. And we see here our target area, but before we charge in, we should probably scout out the area. So we'll go ahead and mark a vantage point on our map here. Marker placed. Yeah, we can use to scout things out. And yes, your horse will do this in the game from time to time, uh, but we'll just ignore that and move on. Now, uh, as you know, Phantom Pain is an open world game. It's roughly 200 times the size of Ground Zeroes. And we're just going to show you a small glimpse of that today to give you a taste of the gameplay. Uh, it is a wide open world, as you can see. Uh, a lot of things to do, a lot of places to explore. It's also a living world populated by wildlife, and up ahead you can see some sheep on the road here. And the landscape is also dotted by human settlements, as you can see up and to the right. Alright, now you notice the background music has changed. It's gotten a little tense. That indicates danger nearby. So let's go ahead and take a look with our binoculars. And here we have a couple enemies, so we'll go ahead and mark them. 
Then we'll make our approach. Uh, that said, if we're up on a horse like this, it's easy to be spotted. So we'll use one of Snake's new abilities. You can actually hang off the side of the horse and lower your profile. And get close enough for the shot. Alright, his buddy did notice that uh, he went down, so we're going to use that to our advantage now. See if we can sneak up behind him. And hold this guy up. Alright, now that we have him held up, we can interrogate him, get some info. Spit it out. And he's telling us where we can find a container with raw materials, so we'll check that out in a bit. But first, let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. And what you're seeing on the screen right now is the Fulton Recovery System. Players who have played Peace Walker should be familiar with this system. Uh, those guys are going to head back to Mother Base. And it looks like we have a curious visitor here as well. Perhaps he wants to go, ba go back to Mother Base too, so let's go ahead and help him out here. Alright, and he's down. So let's go ahead and attach the Fulton. And off he goes. Alright, then we'll check our map, and we see the container here that the guy was talking about. So we'll check that out. It's not too far out of our way. Note that the guys we Fulton back there will head back to Mother Base and become a part of your army, and you can assign them to various groups within Mother Base to do tasks for you. And as for the sheep, I'm sure we can figure something out. Alright, so here we have the container, and we see the guy here. There's a guy guarding it, so we'll approach carefully here. Now, we did mark our enemies, so you can see him through objects such as this wall. And it doesn't look like he's planning to go anywhere anytime soon, so we'll go ahead and lure him out. And this is one of Snake's new abilities. The knock is back in Phantom Pain. You can now perform this using your prosthetic limb, which means you don't have to be next to a wall. So that said, if you are next to a wall, you can perform some pretty brutal CQC, like so. And peeking out from behind a wall and shooting enemies is now faster and smoother than it was in Ground Zeroes. So we'll hold, go ahead and get rid of these guys. And see if we can now recover the container. Right, we gotta be sure to get off the container quickly there. If we were on the container when it went up, uh, we actually would have been Fultoned along with it and gone back to Mother Base, uh, which is a technique you may want to use from time to time, but of course uh, that does abort the mission, so we don't want to do that for today's demonstration. Right, so we'll move on. And uh, you may have noticed also there was a weather report that came in over our iDroid, uh, saying that there's a sandstorm nearby, and if you look up at the sky, you can see that it has gotten a little gray now, and we see some sand kicking up here. Sandstorm is just one example of the dynamic weather that we have in Phantom Pain. The weather we will evolve throughout the day. And uh, during a sandstorm, of course, visibility is low, which means that enemies will have a hard time seeing you. But in turn, you also have a hard time seeing where you're going, so you have to be careful as you navigate through the landscape. Alright, there may be guys like this in hiding. And we've gone ahead and taken, taken him out. Uh, now you could Fulton this guy if you wanted to, but we won't do that today uh, because of the sandstorm. Uh, the Fulton is influenced by weather, and during high, w high wind conditions it can actually be low enough course, and if that happens, the guy you're Fultoning could end up dying, so we don't want to do that. Uh, as I mentioned, visibility is low, but since we marked our target, we can see where we're heading, so we'll just head towards the marker on screen. Now our iDroid is telling us that the weather is clearing, and the four guys we Fultoned earlier have made it back to base. But before we move on, uh, you notice there's something shining beneath this tree. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so raw diamonds. Uh, these raw diamonds are an example of raw materials that you can gather around the map. Uh, these are scattered throughout the landscape. And when you pick them up, they get sent back to Mother Base and add to your GMP. GMP being the currency in Phantom Pain, which you can use to upgrade your base and also develop new items and equipment. Alright, so now we're at a vantage point that we set earlier, and off in the distance you can see our target in yellow there. So in there we should be able to get info regarding Miller's whereabouts. So let's go ahead and take a look using our binoculars. We see the target here. And there are some enemies, so we'll go ahead and mark them.
Okay, so we've gone ahead and marked the enemies that we can see. That said, uh, we don't know if there may be more enemies in hiding in buildings or around corners. Uh, so let's call upon Mother Base uh, to help us out here. Now, Mother Base, there's an intel unit that can scout things out for us. And what you see in the background here is actually Mother Base. So all the guys we fulton earlier get sent back here. And if we take a look at our staff list, you see that we have four new members added to the bottom here. So we'll go ahead and assign one of these guys to our intel unit. Note also that the UI is three-dimensional, so you can move it around like so by moving the controller. Staff assignment right, complete. so he's in the intel unit now, and he'll scout out some info for us. Enemy presence detected. And there's his report. Let's go ahead and take a look at our map. Now you'll notice these red areas here. These indicate anticipated enemy locations. So we'll go ahead and mark those. Marker placed. Marker placed. And take a look with our binoculars. And sure enough, you see enemies entering these areas. So we'll go ahead and mark them as well. Okay, so we've gone ahead and marked all the enemies here, and note that the base is well guarded, so it might not be a good idea to sneak in at this time. Uh, we could try, but it'd be very difficult. So in this kind of situation, it might actually be useful to wait until the guards change shifts, and uh, you could do that just by sitting here waiting for a very long time. But we also have an item that comes in handy in situations like this, and we call it the Phantom Cigar. The Phantom Cigar is an e-cigar that Snake can smoke to help pass the time. Uh, you can start fast-forwarding time and stop whenever you like. Keep in mind that it is an e-cigar, so it produces no ash, and the smoke you see on screen is actually a hologram. Now looking up at the sky, you see we have real-time cloud simulation. All this being done in real-time, and you see also the sun and moon do move through the sky realistically. And shadows from vegetation is cast realistically on the ground. All thanks to the power of the Fox Engine. Sun will set shortly. Now if we pan over to the right, you can also see that the enemies we marked earlier are changing shifts, depending on the time of day. And if you look at our map, we see these blue triangles here, which indicate enemies who are sleeping. So depending on the time of day, if enemies are off their shift, they may be sleeping, and you can use that to your advantage as you plan your infiltration route. Alright, so we'll go ahead and stop here. Again, we can stop at any time. And honestly, it probably will be best to sneak in during night, so that you have darkness uh, to provide cover. But today we want to make sure you see what's going on, so we'll go in during the day. And to help us out, we'll go ahead and place some markers here. Now these markers will serve as waypoints as we sneak through the base and make sure we don't get lost on our way to the target. Okay, so we've gone ahead and set our infiltration route. That said, it is broad daylight, so it'll be hard to sneak through the base at this point in time. Uh, so let's go ahead and once again call upon Mother Base for some help. In Mother Base, you have an R&D unit, and these guys can help you out by developing new types of uh, items and equipment. So for today, let's go ahead and have them develop the ultimate in stealth technology which, as every Metal Gear fan knows, is the cardboard box. So we'll go ahead and place that order. And have it drop to our location. And there it is. So we'll go ahead and open up this box. And now we have our customized special edition Diamond Dogs box. We're ready to go. So we'll go ahead and head down the slope here. Keep in mind that this is just one possible approach. Phantom Pain is an open world game, meaning you can approach targets from any angle, any direction. This is just one possibility that we're showing you here today. Right, and as we make our way out here to the open, let's go ahead and try out our new cardboard box. Right, now players who have played Metal Gear before are obviously familiar with the cardboard box, but it has been upgraded for Phantom Pain with some new abilities, such as the ability to pop up, take guys out, and quickly dump, duck back into the box. And you can now do all of this without having to equip and unequip the box. You can also use the Fulton from within the box. And it looks like we have another enemy behind us, so let's go ahead and sneak up on this guy. Hold him up. And send him on his way. Alright, up ahead we see a guy who could be a problem. Uh, we could trank him. 
but let's try something different. In Mother Base, we have a support unit that can provide uh, supply drops. Uh, supply drops are useful for pr providing items and ammunition, but you can also use them in some pretty creative ways, and we'll show you one example of that here. If you call a supply drop right onto an enemy location, you can do this. So let's see what happens. Okay, so we knocked the guy out and got some ammo. Two birds with one stone. Let's go ahead and collect that. Move on. Okay, we hit our next marker, and uh, that set up ahead, it looks like the way is pretty well guarded, so let's go ahead and take a detour through this building, sneak around that guy. And it looks like we've stumbled upon a guard here who's just coming off of his shift, going to sleep. So let's go ahead and use that to our advantage. There's no need for us to engage him as long as we're quiet and uh, proceed carefully here. He shouldn't wake up and he's no threat to us. We'll slowly make our way to the door. You see to take this guy out. And now that we're back in the open again, let's go ahead and put our box back on. Alright, looks like someone may have noticed our box moving, which is not a good thing. Obviously that's a bit suspicious, so he'll probably check it out. Uh, but we do have something in TPP that can help you in this situation. You can actually jump out the side of the box, like so. And uh, this is actually a very useful technique, because as long as the enemy does not see you jumping out of the box, he will come to investigate, and you can actually use the box as a decoy as you sneak around the side of the building here. Now, previously we showed you how you can use the Fulton system to Fulton people as well as containers. Uh, you can also use the Fulton to Fulton vehicles. So let's go ahead and recover this vehicle here from other base. That said, you do need to be careful because you never know if there are guys hiding behind objects. So, let's get rid of this guy. And make sure the coast is clear. Alright, we got one more guy here, so let's go ahead and hide. Uh, dumpster here looks good. And the dumpster is just one example of various objects that are scattered around the stage that you can use to hide. And also, as you can see, once enemies are close, you can also use a specialized form of CQC to quickly take them out and stash them away. Alright, we've hit our next marker now, so we'll go ahead and proceed forward. And that yellow marker there, on the second floor of the building, is our target. We'll make our way there carefully. Be careful not to be spotted. You have arrived at your destination. And there's a guy here, so we'll keep an eye on him as we make our way. Oh, and somebody to our right may have spotted something, so let's take cover down here in the ditch and lay low for a bit. Alright, and the coast looks clear, so move on. You have arrived at your destination. And we'll take the high road here, so we can have a better view of the landscape as we proceed. Enemy here, so we'll go ahead and mark him. And we need to get up there, to the second floor, so we'll make our entry here. Yeah, it looks like the soldiers, as well as the diamonds we picked up earlier, have made their way back to Mother Base, adding to our GMP. And the vehicle as well. Alright, 
close call there, but thanks to reflex mode, take that guy out. Alright, now we need to get the second floor, and the coast does look clear, so we'll go ahead and Fulton this guy, then head on up. Now in this room we should be able to find some intel regarding those whereabouts, so let's check it out. Uh, but it looks like there's also a POW here, so let's go ahead and see who this is. And this is actually Jackie, our E3 gameplay master, who uh, is not looking too happy right now. We'll help him out in just a minute, but first let's go ahead and take a look at the intel files. So we'll go ahead and pull out our iDroid. Scan these in. And upload the data. So you picked up an intel file. Now we know where Miller is. I'm marking it on your iDroid. Okay, now we have Miller's location. All we gotta do now is help Jackie escape. And that's not working. Uh, if you look at the Fulton icon, you can actually see that it's at 0% right now, which means obviously we can't Fulton him indoors. So let's get him outside. And now it should work. Alright, there he goes. Uh, so we have our intel, and we have Jackie up and away. So now all we need to do is escape from the base, and we're done. Uh, that said, uh, we have been spotted, so we're gonna have to fight our way out. Uh, but in this situation, Mother Base can once again provide support for us. So let's go ahead and open up our iDroid once again, and this time we'll call upon our support unit to provide an airstrike. So we'll go ahead and set the target area. And then we'll also call a helicopter to help us escape. Please select a landing zone. Landing zone confirmed. Alright, now all we need to do is escape as quickly as possible, because obviously we don't want to be here when the bombs start dropping, or we will be caught in the blast. So we're not going to bother with stealth at this point, just a matter of escaping the base. And we see a vehicle here, which should help us out, so let's go ahead and hijack that. Support fire incoming, Let's see if we can take a look at it here. Nice. This is Morphle, arriving shortly at LZ. And Morphle's incoming, so we just have to make our way to the LZ. Alright, so we made it safely onto Morpho. Uh, that said, you're never truly safe in the Phantom Pain until you've escaped from enemy territory, and that does include enemy airspace, so we'll keep our eyes open here as we make our escape. Right down below, we see some enemy reinforcements heading in. And the smoke from our airstrike. It does look like we're in the clear. So that's mission complete. Let's see how we did. Right, S rank, not bad. Uh, so that concludes the open world gameplay segment of our presentation for today. Uh, that said, we do have something new in store for you right after this, and this is the first time we're going to be showing this section off. It's actually uh, brand new for E3 2014. So let's go ahead and take a look. Up until this point, we've Fulton people, sent them back to Mother Base. Also, if you've played Peace Walker, you're familiar with the Mother Base system. But in Phantom Pain, Mother Base is actually a physical location that you can visit. And uh, that's what you see on the screen right here. So this Mother Base is an example of Mother Base that's been built up quite a bit. When you first start out, Mother Base is just a small platform. And you slowly build it up as you gather resources and build new platforms. The cool thing about Mother Base is that everyone's Mother Base will be unique, because depending on how you decide to spend your resources, uh, the shape and size of Mother Base will vary. So gathering resources, building up your Mother Base, 
and showing off to your friends is part of the fun of the Phantom Pain. We hope you look forward to that. Alright, so this big platform you see here is the primary platform in our base, so we'll go ahead and make our approach. And we can now actually disembark from the helicopter and give you a personalized tour of Mother Base. You see your men do salute you as you approach. Uh, you are, of course, their commander. You are a big boss. These are your men, your diamond dogs. And this is your base. So uh, let's take a moment to take it all in. Just get a sense of the scale of it all. And just remember that you, the player, will be creating all of this. Alright, so let's move on. Alright, we see uh, our friends, the sheep, as well as Jackie, have made it back to base safely. Thank you, boss. And they seem to be getting along nicely. So we'll let them be. And here we are in the interior of Mother Base. I'll give you another view of it here. You can hear gunfire in the background as well. That is from the shooting range. While you're out on your missions, uh, your men may be engaged in missions of their own, or they may be back here at Mother Base engaged in training, uh, such as the shooting range. Uh, you can also train with them if you like. Uh, you can actually spar with them, practice some CQC, uh, which will help raise your ability as well as theirs. But we won't do that for today. We'll just go ahead and move on up to give you a better view of the base. Alright, and up ahead you see an anti-aircraft gun. This is an example of artillery that you can actually Fulton from the field. Uh, so while you're out on your mission, you can actually Fulton artillery and equipment like this, bring it back to Mother Base and install it here as a part of your defenses. Likewise, you see here the container that we Fulton earlier has made it back to Mother Base safely. And the vehicle as well. So all of these things that you Fulton, whether it be personnel, vehicles, or resources, get sent back to Mother Base. And resources will add to your GMP, which you can use to upgrade Mother Base and expand it by building new platforms. So here's the platform currently under construction, uh, so this will be available in the near future. And another thing you can spend your GMP on is upgrading your security. And this UAV here is one example of that, so these guys will keep your base safe while you're out on your missions. Alright, and we see here a familiar face. So all slot saying hi. So unique characters such as Ocelot will also be scattered around Mother Base and you can actually interact with them as well. Now it's starting to rain. Once again this is an example of the dynamic weather in Phantom Pain and the weather will change not only during your missions but also while you're back at Mother Base. Alright, now something's going on. Let's see if we can take a look. There seems to be some sort of alarm, and people are running off to combat positions. So let's do the same. Morpho is incoming, so let's go ahead and rendezvous with them. Notice also that Jackie is taking a bunch of shortcuts here. Uh, that is because it's his mother base. Uh, every player will have their own unique mother base and know how to get from point A to point B as quickly as possible. Alright, so we're back on the main platform now. And we'll rendezvous with Morpho. and head into battle. So as you can gather from the alarm, um, your base in the Phantom Pain can be attacked. So Mother Base does not only provide support to you while you're in the field, but all of the allies and enemies that you make while you're in your missions or online will also come back and affect you here at Mother Base. And it's all one endless cycle in the Phantom Pain. And that concludes our E3 presentation. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.